He knows what do. He a good boy. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to Poke Monday Random Battles. Uh, another not great start, uh, we've got an Uxie out against my Hitmonlee, uh, but that thing goes right back in, he brings out the Grand Bowl, presumably for the Intimidate, also because it's Fairy type now, I think, instead of Normal type, which would normally be owned, but it's all switched up now, I don't know what's going on, it's Gen 6, Illumis! My old friend from the last battle is back. Uh, we'll set up the Tailwind because that's always a relatively good thing to do. And he goes for the Play Rough, which is uh, pretty hurdy. I didn't expect this thing to hit so hard. It seems to be an offensive variant. Um, so that means we should get to uh, smacking it with something <laughs> to get it out of the way. I've got a Zekrom. Check this shit out. And um, he's, he should be scared of this. I'm assuming he'll switch out. But if not, then we'll just go for a Terra Volt and see if we can uh, destroy him. And then we go for Substitute. Substitute, Hone Claws, Terra Volt. Oh god, he has Earthquake. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did not expect this at all. Go for the Bolt Strike anyways, because with Leftovers damage, he uh, is close enough. Yes, that is one reason that I don't like Life Orb damage, not Leftovers damage. I don't enjoy Life Orb as much because it does damage you like that, and uh, luckily I was able to kind of work my way around that Grand Bowl, which is good, but he has another fucking Stoutland, which is able to intimidate, but he switches it immediately for a Starmie, which is interesting. So I'll bring in my Illumis, and um, that'll be just fine. We kind of made a double switch there. So I'll start out this turn with the Thunder Wave. I think the Starmie has Natural Cure, so it's probably not going to be the uh, the best move that I could have made. I kind of just gave up my Illumis. Maybe we should have gone for Tailwind. Um, I'll bring out Tauros now. I'm scared to send in Hitmonlee because Starmie is part Psychic type, and he actually pulls that thing out. So uh, I don't think the Intimidate is going to matter unless it goes off after the switch. Apparently not. Out comes the Stoutland. I give it a rock climb, it does 40%, but that is not quite enough to overcome, so I'm going to pull it back out of there. Uh, I have a Quill Fist, which also has Intimidate. This is an intimidating ass battle. <laughs> and uh, the Stoutland goes for Return, which does a shit ton of damage. I know I'm not going to be able to get 60% off of it, so I'll just go for the Destiny Bond here. And uh, that was Quill Fish's job, <laughs> I guess. I would have liked to seen a little more uh, Intimidate shenanigans with him, but... For what it is, I guess it's alright. I'm surprised he went down so fast even though he intimidated the Stoutland. I guess it was uh, an offensive variant as well. So the Tauros is back in here now that I don't have any more Intimidates to worry about, I hope. And he sends in that Uxie which uh, was lurking earlier. I'm able to do 49%, uh, closer to 48% it seems. Uxie's at 52 and it uses Yawn which is not good. Um, I don't want my Tauros to go to sleep. So I'm going to switch it on out, and we'll bring in B-Free, the Butterfree. Oh yes, uh, Butterfree has Sleep Powder combined with Compound Eyes, and then moves like Quiver Dance to boost up your stats. Um, this thing's going to get wrecked pretty hard, is all I'm saying. I know his Uxie and his um, Starmie both have a Psychic typing, which will be weak to the bug. The Polyrath he just brought out is going to be weak to the Psychic, which is the other coverage move that my uh, Butterfree has. So there's the Sleep Powder. We're going to set up the Quiver Dances as he switches into the Starmie. It's going to be too late though. Um, now my Butterfree is faster and it's going to be able to one hit KO basically anything on his team now. Fantastic work Mr. Butterfree uh, outpaced the Zekrom. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? And fucking Hitmonlee didn't even see shit. Oh and he's got Toxicroak. Yeah. That's dead to Psychic too. <laughs> Woo! That was a, a good ass battle, let me tell you what, I didn't think Butterfree would be able to pull it out so hard, but once uh, a few of the other threats were cleared, we definitely had it, and he realizes too as he forfeits. So that is a wonderful victory, well done Butterfree. Alright, and our final Pokemon Day battle on this Monday, I'm trying to do two per, I send out a Mag Cargo against his Politoid, which is a fucking horrible switch. He's gonna obviously use Hydro Pump or Scald or something like that. So I send in the Roserade, but no! He switches, he, he uses his Scald. So um, I'm praying not to get the burn on that. Just fine, just fine. 
Roserade's gonna make things happen. He uses Protect, trying to scout out what I'm gonna do. I should have set up Spikes or something like that. Instead, I went for Sleep Powder. Um, but it's not much of a reveal. I guess he can choose which Pokemon he'd rather have put to sleep. But he chooses Ninetales, which is quite an interesting choice. I would have had the Politoed put to sleep, then brought in the Ninetales so it couldn't be put to sleep. But it doesn't really matter because I missed my freaking Sleep Powder anyways. <laughs> So, um, obviously I'm gonna get a Fire Blast to the face or something like that. We might as well go back into Mag Cargo. He knows what do. He a good boy. Will-O-Wisp is not gonna do anything against Mag Cargo. Um, even against Roserade, it wouldn't do that much. He uses Solar Beam. Ow! That hurts way more than I thought. Hits neutrally on Mag Cargo. Ancient Power does okay as well. Here he does an interesting thing and switches to Fire Blast, presumably uh, thinking I was going to bring in the Roserade to avoid the Solar Beam, but that is not the case. I go for the second Ancient Power and Mag Cargo is able to net the KO because of a uh, missed prediction, which is really nice. Uh, here comes that Politoed again, just as expected. I think I will leave my Mag Cargo in here on this turn and just, yeah, kind of sack it for a free switch into the Roserade and then I can get my free Sleep Powder and whatnot once more, um, or at least that's that's how it plays out in my head, but uh, as we've seen, it doesn't always work that way, <laughs> necessarily. So uh, here comes a Venomoth to compete with my Roserade, and that's no problem. I'll set up some spikes. Um, I think Sleep Powder might be the, the, the good move here, but uh, it's just so inaccurate. Unless you have Compound Eyes or something like that, I don't know if it's worth really giving a shot. I give it a shot there, and uh, it happens to pay off, albeit after uh, one miss in the battle already. So, the Venomoth is now asleep. Very good. He takes it out and brings in a freaking Rayquaza. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, another uphill battle for Dayton does, it seems. So we'll keep setting up our spikes. I'm not too scared of what this thing is going to do. It's probably going to Dragon Dance or some shit like that. Sludge Bomb in its face, uh, it does pretty decent damage, mostly because of the, the level changes between um, the Pokemon in the random battle. So Roserade's level 77, Rayquaza is level 73. Ooh, that outrage hurts. Okay, uh, Roserade doesn't have great physical defense compared to special, um, but I still expect her to be able to take one. I send in my Hypno now, which I really, really love Hypno. He's just such a bulky asshole. And I'll go for my Protect, um, basically just trying to wait out this Outrage, because I know um, I'm not going to want to take two of those. Oh my god! And he fucking almost destroys my Hypno. Luckily, I get the Toxic off on him, and he eats a Lumberry. So it's good, technically, um, because once the Outrage is over, he'll be confused. So that'll give me a chance to... Uh, Hopefully heal this Hypno back up. I have Wish, Toxic, Protect, and Psychic on this Hypno. And um, now he is confused, so I'm going to go for the Wish on the next turn and kind of just keep my fingers crossed. Yes, he switches it out. How wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, here comes the Venomoth, so this is going to be real good. I'll get the Wish up, and then uh, I'm going to go for a Psychic instead of sitting around and protecting on my next turn, because that thing is obviously immobilized, asleep, and uh, pretty soon dead, I think. I hope. It doesn't have any Quiver Dances. Yeah, but Hypno's attack isn't that great either. He's more of a defensive Pokemon, so it'll take one more Psychic to wipe this thing off the field. But, uh, oh, it does wake up. It does wake up. Gonna get a Bug Buzz? Quiver Dance? Nope, he goes for Sleep Powder. Luckily, Hypno has Insomnia, which is an ability that hardly anybody picks, but I'm really, really glad he had it for this fight, because that qu uh, that Sleep Powder did hit, but uh, Insomnia kept me from going to sleep, and I'm able to bag the Venomoth with a Psychic. Fucking outstanding, Hypno. You're just... Oh, he's doing the best in this fight! Uh, uh, Rotom Frost comes in with a Thunderbolt. That's not going to be a problem. I'll just hit that thing with a little bit of Toxic and uh, get my wishy stall shenanigans going. This is one of the biggest reasons that I love Hypno. Um, he's only got a single typing, which means he doesn't have a second typing to be exploited like some others. Um, he's, he's just a really good, good Pokemon, a great wall that will fit on just about any team. Um, although he is a bit lackluster since he is from the very first generation. 
There's a psychic as I uh, wish up because I know the blizzard and or thunderbolt probably won't kill me and Hypno's back to full health. Are you fucking kidding? He's taken out so much of this team. Oh, there's the pain split. Oh, that's that's a dick move. But I'll keep using my wish and uh, protect and eventually Toxic will start ticking on that thing to the point where it stands no chance. So he goes for the blizzard again. I did not protect on this turn. Gonna go ahead and blast it with the sidekick to see if I can't get it out of the way. Yeah, with toxic damage, that's definitely gonna do the job. So super job, fucking Hypno, man. If <laughs> if you need an awesome psychic Pokemon to put on your team, definitely consider Hypno. Oh my god, he's the hippest. Uh, he's got a Swellow coming in here now, which I'm kind of scared of. Uh, he goes for the Brave Bird, but his guts isn't activated. I assume he has a Toxic or Flame Orb. Um, Psychic does some pretty good damage there, but I don't think Hypno is going to be able to live. So uh, there's the Toxic Orb. I am going to protect just to get a little bit more Toxic damage, kind of squeeze it out. And Hypno took down literally half this dude's team. W fucking insane, dude. Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, Swellow's Toxic damage taken away. I'm gonna keep this Hypno for later and send in the Sableye. Yes, I don't really need the last half of my team, but I would like to showcase them. He goes for the Facade, which misses completely uh, because Sableye's a ghost type. I kind of did expect that, but Brave Bird uh, probably wouldn't have KO'd either if he had gone for that. And then I go back to the Hypno as kind of a, a fodder. Thank you so much, Hypno. You're the best. We love you, son. <laughs> and the Swallow goes down to Brave Bird damage, which is really, really nice. So he's got a Rayquaza and a Politoed. It's not looking good, and uh, Hypno did a lot of that, which is the most shocking part to me, probably. <laughs> I, I expect him to be a wall, but as far as like being offensive and taking uh, enemies down, it's really quite surprising. So Sableye's out here against the Rayquaza. I'm gonna go ahead and Willow Wisp it. So uh, yeah, that Earthquake is gonna do nothing at all. Even if he starts Dragon Dancing up, it's kind of whatever. He's going to die eventually. So, uh, yeah, there's the Outrage. It is doing nothing. Nothing! And Sableye's just kind of laughing. Laughing in his face. I do have the Recover on this thing as well, so uh, I'm not too worried. I think I will go for Recover on the next turn. While he just uh, kind of dies to a burn. It's really sad. I like Rayquaza a lot. He's a giant Sky Snake. I'm, I'm all about Sky Snakes, kid, as you're gonna see in uh, my next monotype shits. Anyways, Rayquaza's down. Um, he's got the Politoed left, which, not boding well, I'm gonna go ahead and burn it and just kind of let the residual damage take, take care of what it do. Oh my god. He uses Toxic, but since Sableye, uh, his Mega Evolution anyways, has Magic Bounce, he toxic himself, and my Will-O-Wisp missed. So that is going to make this battle significantly shorter than I had previously suspected. Good news, good news for all. I'll switch to my other Pokemons just so you can see uh, what they are while we stall this thing out. And uh, I do hope that you've enjoyed this episode, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. I will be sure to bring you more of this content. And if you remember to do any or all of those things, I will send you a poster of Pamela Anderson. It's barbed wire. She's not naked in it, but you could still have it if you want. I know you probably do want it. <laughs> As most young boys would. Or, you know, old people too. I don't think Pamela Anderson's the sex symbol that she was for uh, for young kids back then. It's just uh, she, she caught my generation just right. You know what I mean? So there it is, Giratina Stoutland, my last Pokemon that I didn't really even need. Uh, I took out most of his team with Hypno, Roserade, Mag Cargo, and I'm feeling like a boss. So friends, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Your support is always appreciated, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.